Hello. Today's read aloud is Duck for President. And it's written by Doreen Cronin and illustrated by Betsy Lewin. Vote. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is covered from head to toe in hay, horse hair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. He doesn't smell very good either. The animals have chores to do too. Pigs clean under the beds, cows weed the garden, sheep sweep the barn, duck take out the trash, mow the lawn, grind the coffee beans. At the end of each day, the pigs are covered in lint bunnies. The cows are covered in weeds. The sheeps are covered in dust. The duck is covered in tiny bits of grass and espresso beans. Duck did not like to do chores. He did not like picking tiny bits of grass and espresso beans out of his feathers. Why is Farmer Brown in charge anyway, thought Duck. What we need is an election. He made a sign and hung it up in the barn. Farmer Brown must go. Farm election tomorrow. The next morning, Farmer Brown found a poster on his front door. Vote Duck for a kinder, gentler farm. Farmer Brown was furious. He ran to the barn and found the animals, animals registering to vote. Voter registration. Voters must, one, live on the farm, two, show valid ID, three, be at least this tall. The mice got together and protested the height requirement, so Duck crossed it off. On election day, each of the animals filled out a ballot and placed it in a box. The vote was counted and the results were posted on the barn wall. Farmer Brown, 6. Duck, 20. Farmer Brown, de Brown demanded a recount. On a sticky ballot was found one, excuse me, one sticky ballot was found stuck to the bottom of a pig. The new tally was F is for farmer, farmer brown six, and duck 21. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, duck was covered from head to toe in hay, horse hair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. Running a farm is no fun at all, thought Duck. Vote for me. I'm a duck, not a politician. That night, Duck and his staff worked, started working on Duck's campaign for governor. Duck left Farmer Brown in charge and hit the campaign trail. He visited small town diners. He marched in parades. Vote for me, a duck, not a politician. Vote Duck. He went to town meetings. He gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots and booths all over the state. The vote was counted and the results were posted in the local paper. Duck wins by a nose. Miss Governor, 299,999 and Duck, 300,000. The governor demanded a recount. Two sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of a plate of pancakes. The new tally was Miss Governor, 299,999, and Duck, 300,002. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running a state is very hard work. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in hairspray, ink stains, scotch tape, fingerprints, mayonnaise, and coffee stains, and he had a very bad headache. Running a state is no fun at all, thought Duck. That night, Duck and his staff started working on posters for the presidential election. A duck for a change. I like Duck. Duck, making us proud again. Duck left his staff in charge and hit the campaign trail. He kissed babies in local diners. He rode in parades. He gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. He even played the saxophone on late night television. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots and booths all over the country. The vote was counted and the results were announced on CNN. 
Decision America, Mr. President, 50,546,165. Duck, 50,546,170. Duck defeats President. The President demanded a recount. Ten sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of the Vice President. The new tally was Mr. President, 50,546,165. Duck, 50,546,180. Duck still defeats president. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running a country is very hard work. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in face powder, paper cuts, staples, security badges, secret service agents, and coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Running a country is no fun at all, thought Duck. Then he checked the help wanted ads. Duck needed, no experience necessary. Must be able to mow the lawn and grind coffee beans. Duck left the vice president in charge and headed back to the farm. At the end, at the end of each day, Farmer Brown is now covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. And Duck is working on his autobiography. It says, four score and seven years ago, and he crossed it out. The only thing we have to fear, he crossed it out. Ask not what your country, crossed it out. Running a farm is very hard work. I hope you liked the story. It's another story in our series that we've been reading. Would you like to be president? What could you do right now to have and to make this world a better place? What's something that you could do, even as a child, to make this world better? I bet you could think of some really great ideas, and I bet you can start implementing them. That means making them happen. I hope you have a great day. A big hug from me to you. See you next time. Bye-bye.